Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving quadratic equations by completing the square. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, p squared plus 14p minus 38 equals zero, and we need to solve this by completing the square. So the tricky thing here is we want to really bring this c value over to the right hand side. So we have p squared plus 14p is now equal to, well, let's give some space here, equal to a positive 38. Now we're going to look at that b value, 14. We're going to use our formula. So we take 1 half times that 14, ah, second part, see, <laughs> and then we square that. Well, 1 half times 14 is a 7, so we have 7 squared, and that's 49. So now what we want to do is take that 49, and we're going to add it to both sides of the equation. And what does this make for us? Well, the left-hand side now becomes a per perfect squared, p plus 7 squared, and that's equal to, well, 38 plus 49 being 87. So now we have to, well, solve for p. We take the square root of both sides here, and we have p plus 7 equals a plus or minus the square root of 87. Subtract the 7 to both sides, and we have a p is equal to negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 87. And, well, we can write this as two statements p equals the plus and minus, right? So we can write each one individually. Negative 7 plus the square root of 87, and negative 7 minus the square root of 87. And that's actually our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math.